friends, family, car enthusiasts, welcome. My name is Ryan Lawler, and I am proud to stand here at the SEMA convention and present to you the winner of the Most Admired Business Person Award, my dad, Brian Lawler. Experience the failures now so that everyone may reap the success. These quotes from my dad cannot have better represented the situations he's been through for the past decade. For his entire life, he's always had a passion for cars, and at one point he had the personal desire to drive the Mazda Protege 5. After he test drove this 2002 grocery getter, he immediately saw the potential it had to be modified and attract other people. And so he tinkered with it. He tinkered with it some more. And about four years later, resulted to this. What did we hit? 380, 396. Torque, 373. 373 on the torque. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now, with the success, it's crazy to think that before this, he blew the engine three separate times. However, as you can see, at peak performance for the vehicle, it reached just about 400 horsepower and a little over 370 foot-pounds of torque. Now, to put it in perspective, when he first got the car, when it was stock, it had 130 horsepower and 135 foot-pounds of torque. But not only with these performance modifications, he also had some aesthetics done to it as well. He had a touchscreen computer operating via Windows Vista. He also had some gauges that identified air-fuel ratio, the turbo PSI, etc., and so on. He also had an audio system. He also had an air suspension system. And he also had a fuel cell in the trunk, which is the black box between the compressor and the amplifier. Now, it all started in 2006 when him and his brother George were talking to one of George's old high school friends who happened to be the owner of River City Customs, a motorcycle shop in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Now, knowing that they both worked on cars, he presented them with the opportunity by saying, hey, if you guys make a business, you could uh, meet the demand of people who want their cars to be modified. And so without hesitation, my dad took $12,000 out of his savings and he invested it into the business that was at the time called Signature Sounds and Performance. About three or four months later in operation, George had to leave the company because he had a kid along the way. And so my dad inevitably was left by himself. And it wasn't too long afterward that the business actually failed. But my dad learned a few things from this. The first thing he learned is that he was able to maintain business relationships with people. It allowed him to keep inventory sustained project after project. And he also learned that there are special circumstances where sometimes hiring a family member isn't always the best for the company. However, he evolved with the industry. And one of those evolutions was the boom of the internet age. People were selling electronics online rather than at brick and mortar retail stores. This was revolutionary. And for places like eBay to have such sources of electronics was huge. And so my dad thought, well, why have the overhead costs and have to drive an hour and a half each day to go to work when he can just work at home. And so, as a result, he had Signature Products International, his new business. And with this evolution, he parted out the Mazda and now represents his company with the Toyota FRS. He also has a day job as well. So when he comes home from his day job, he spends night after night, project after project, making unique products. Some of these unique products, one of his prized possessions, includes an assembled and powder-coated Mazda engine. It also makes piston clocks, some that in the past that I have 3D printed and designed logos for various customers. And the customers are loving his products. They're loving it. For example, according to Jacob Sell, 
a loyal customer for about three years now, has stated that Signature Products has superb quality and customer service. No one except Signature will powder coat anything for him. Another guy named Mark Andre Mass, who is actually from Canada, he is proud to show the big S, representing all the custom work that he has done for him. Since he met Brian, he recommended him to a lot of people, and he's known as the protege god for some pretty good reasons. But now, a new era has turned, and my dad has recognized this change in the industry. So what him, a couple of his buddies, and myself are doing in a couple of months is we're going to form a YouTube web series. This web series is going to convert what once was a lucrative business for making unique products for customers to forming a YouTube series in which will allow people to take the unique parts that they want and they can build upon their own success through their own methodical procedures. And not only would this benefit them for easy reference, but YouTube's not going to go anywhere, so why would these videos be anywhere else but online? There are a lot of lessons to be learned here, but the biggest lesson other than experiencing the failures and in order to reach that success, is that running a business does not pertain to the owner himself. It's the people around him who react to it. Thank you for listening to this presentation.